Hi everyone, sa video na to, magdi-discuss po tayo on how to uh, compute for molality. So, what is molality? Paano ba nakukuha yung molality? Actually, molality, it is another way to measure concentration of a solution. We have made a video already on how to compute for molarity. So, another way to compute for the concentration of a solution is the molality. So, yun pong i-discuss natin sa video na to kung paano mag-compute ng molality. Molality is calculated by dividing the number of moles of solute by the number of kilograms of solvent. So sabi natin, your solute and solvent ang involved dito. Okay, so solute, ito yung usually ang substance that dissolved in the solvent. So solvent, ang tubig is our universal solvent. Bakit siya tinawag na universal solvent? Kasi almost all chemical substances dissolves in water. So, kaya ang tawag sa kanya ay universal solvent. Example, yung sodium chloride natin, yung salt, your table salt na ginagamit natin pag paluto, okay, pang pasarap sa pagkain natin. Okay, yung, yun ay, pag dinisolve mo yun sa tubig, ang sodium chloride is called your solute. Ang water naman, yung tubig, ay called your solvent. Okay, so yung solute, ang dinidisolve natin doon sa solvent. So, to, to get the concentration of that, we can express it in terms of molality. So, ang molality daw ay ang moles of solute in the solution and the kilogram of solvent sa solution din. So, we have to know kung ilang moles ba meron ng solute at ilang kilograms yung solvent natin to be able to get the molality. So, small letter M is the symbol for molality. So, it's a way to measure the concentration of a solution. So, let's try and solve some problem. First problem that we have here, calculate the molality of a solution of hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid, ang kanyang uh, chemical formula is HCl, where 12.5 grams HCl acid dissolve it in 115 grams of water. So, yung hydrochloric acid natin dito, siya yung solute natin, wherein ang given is in grams. And dito naman ang solvent natin, dissolved daw in 150 grams, 115 grams of water. So, water or H2O is our solvent. Now, the question is, what is the molality of the solution? So, ano da yung concentration of the solution in terms of molality? So, let's try and solve this problem. So, meron tayong given. So, in our given, so, anong given dito? Ang mass of, uh, mass of our solute, which is 12.5 grams, 12.5 grams HCl, meron din tayo na mass of our uh, solvent, which is 115 grams H2O or water. So, ito, ang kailangan kasi natin, if you are going to use, ito kasi yung formula natin, di ba? Sabi, ang formula natin, okay? So, formula natin to get the molality, for molality is the moles, okay? So, moles of uh, solute over kilogram of solvent. Kilogram of solvent. So, in this case, we, in this case, we need to find kung ilang moles ba si hydrochloric acid. Okay? So, ito, ilang moles ba ang 12.5 grams HCl? So, i-convert -co natin yan. And, of course, si water naman, kasi ang kailangan natin in terms of kilograms, i-convert -co lang natin yung 115 grams to kilograms. So, paano ba tayo magko-compute ng, uh, magko-convert ng grams, okay, or a mass of your solute to moles? So, dito, kailangan natin, um, kailangan natin yung molar mass of hydrogen chloride. Na, meron na tayong gumawa ng video on how to find the molar mass of a given substance or compound. So, kung hindi nyo pa po napanood, please feel free, uh, Please view yung uh, ano natin, yung video natin on how to get your molar mass and kung saan natin mahahanap din yung individual 
uh, individual atomic mass ng element. Okay, so, of course, nakukuha natin yan sa table of elements natin. So, dito, i-compute na lang natin. Okay? So, for every one mole ito, meron ilang ano tayo? Meron hydrogen, so hydro hydrochloric acid, isang hydrogen lang meron. And we have the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1. Actually, kung sa ibang table of elements, it's 1.001. Pero 1 lang ang i-consider natin. Then, we have chlorine. Okay, isang chlorine lang din meron, isang atom of chlorine lang din meron sa hydrogen, uh, sa hydrochloric. So, and the atomic mass of uh, chlorine is 35.45. So, if you are going to add this, this is 36.45 and the unit of this is grams per mole. Okay, grams per mole. Meaning to say, for every one mole of hydrogen, chlori hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid, there is 36.45 grams for every one mole. So, yan yung molar mass na gagamitin natin to convert your 12.5 grams HCl to moles. So, let's proceed and let's put the value. So, uh, ang given dito is 12.5 12.5. Hindi ko na lang ilalagay. Ilalagay ko lang yung unit. Hindi ko na ilalagay na HCl. Alam natin that it is HCl. Then, meron tayong 115 na grams. Ito naman ay H2O. Ilagay ko na lang. Okay, ito HCl. So, let's convert first the HCl to moles. So, kailangan natin ilagay si moles sa taas. For every one mole, Meron tayong, 1 mole of HCl, meron tayong 36.45 grams. Saan natin ito nakuha? Ito as your conversion factor, yung molar mass natin. So this time, pwede mo na cancel si grams HCl at si grams HCl dito. Ang maiiwan na lang ay si moles HCl. Okay? So yan yung maiiwan sa atin. So okay na yung ano natin. Oh, this is H2O. Ah, HCl pa rin, okay? So, ang maiiwan na lang sa atin, ito, ang 115 grams of water, kailangan natin i-convert to kilograms. Ito, mabilis lang. And we know that there is 1,000 grams for every 1 kilogram. Tama? Okay, that is our conversion factor to convert yung 115 grams of water to kilograms. So, here, makakancel out natin ang grams and grams, ang maiiwan na lang na kilogram. So, this is actually kilogram water. So, if we are going to compute this, okay, 12.5 divided by 115 times 1 divided by 36.45 times 1,000 will get an answer of 2.98 moles per kilogram. Or, you can say this as Molal. Okay? So, our answer is 2.98 molal. If we're going to mix or dissolve 12.5 grams of hydrochloric acid in 115 grams of water, ang concentration ng solution natin ay 2.98 molal. So, that is how you compute for molality. We still have one example. Okay, may example pa tayo. Next example natin, when 320 grams copper sulfate is added to 1 kilogram of water, what is the molality of the solution? So basically, the same lang yung problem natin. In, ang nagbago lang dito ay yung solute natin. Yung solute natin ay si copper sulfate. At ang given na copper sulfate is 320 grams. So, hindi ko na lang isusulat yung given natin para diretso na lang computation natin. So, first is we're going to get the molar mass of copper sulfate. So, sa isang copper sulfate, sa C, copper is Cu, sulfate is SO4. So, meron tayong isang copper. So, sa isang copper natin, ang atomic mass of copper is 63.5. We have one sulfur, so isa lang din si sulfur dito. Sulfur, the atomic mass of sulfur is 32. Nang oxygen natin ay meron tayong apat na oxygen. And the molar mass of oxygen, atomic mass of oxygen I mean is 16. 
So 4 times 16, that will give us 4 times 16, that is uh, 64. Okay, so 64, we are going to add this one, 5. Then 3 plus 2, that's 5 plus 4, that is 9. And we have 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 6, that is 15. So therefore, our molar mass for copper sulfate is 159.5 grams per mole. So gagamitin natin yan as conver conversion factor. So this one, so solve na tayo. Okay, so your molal, uh, we have 320 grams of copper sulfate. And your solvent is 1 kilogram water. So, si tubig natin, yung water natin, hindi natin kailangan i-convert kasi nakakilogram na siya. Ang i-convert na lang natin ay si copper sulfate, i-convert natin to moles para maging moles per kilogram of water na lang. So, here, same pa rin, nasa taas si, si grams. So, ang gagawin natin dito sa molar mass natin, lalagay natin si grams sa baba, sa taas si mole. Okay, so for every one mole of copper sulfate, meron tayong 159.5 grams copper sulfate. So here, we can cancel out this, cancel out this. If you have noticed, ang naiwan na lang ay moles of solute over the kilogram of solvent. So if we are going to multiply and divide this 320 divided by 159.5, we'll get an answer of 2.5. Zero 01. Okay, this is 2.01 moles per moles of solute per kilogram or molal. So, yan ang answer natin. So, meaning pag tayo ay mag-dissolve ng 320 at uh, 320 grams of copper sulfate. So, 1 kilogram of water, ang magiging concentration ng solution natin in terms of molality ay 2.01 molal. So, that is our answer for this particular uh, questions or problem. Now, let's have last one problem solving for molality. Ito naman, if 52 grams of potassium carbonate are dissolved in 518 grams of water, what is the molality? So if you have noticed, simple lang yung mga nilalagay ko mga problems dito, straightforward lang pag-compute ng molality para hindi muna kayo malito. So later on, magsasolve tayo ng mga, mga problems na medyo complicated ng konti para at least ma-improve ang skills nyo in uh, solving problems na related to concentration. So here, Ang solute natin is potassium carbonate. Still, ang solvent natin is water given naman yung uh, mass of water or mass of solvent. So, this, i-compute natin ulit yung molar mass of potassium carbonate. So, potassium, meron tayong 2 atoms of potassium times, ano ba yung ano ng potassium? Potassium is 39. So, that is 2 times 39 equals to 78. Then we have carbon is only 1. So that is in the 1 times ano lang yan. Carbon is 1 times 12. So atomic mass of carbon is 12. Then oxygen. Oxygen is, meron tayong 3 atoms of oxygen times ang atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So we'll have 3 times 16, that is 48. So if we're going to add this one, that is 10 plus 8 is 18, carry 1. 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9, plus uh, 4 is 13. So 138, this is grams per mole. Now let's proceed and uh, find the molality of this particular problem. So molality, moles of solute. So we have to put the mass, 52 grams of potassium carbonate. Co-convert lang natin yan mamaya. Then, we have your mass of water, which is 518 grams. Ito naman, yung solvent natin, i-co-convert din natin to, to kilogram para moles 
per kilogram ang ano natin. So, to convert yung grams to moles, gagamitin natin yung molar mass, which is 138. So, 138. So, for every 1 mole, kasi gusto natin si mole sa taas. Okay, for every 1 mole of uh, potassium carbonate, meron tayong 138 grams potassium carbonate. So, we can cancel this out now. Ang maiiwan na lang ay moles of potassium carbonate. Now, ito naman, i-convert din natin itong uh, 518 grams to kilograms. So, we will use the conversion factor that for every 1 kilogram, meron tayong 1,000 grams. So, cancel out. Okay, grams and grams. Maiwan natin ay kilograms of water. So, if we are going to solve this, 52 divided by 518 times 1 divided by 138 times 1,000 divided by 1, that will give us an answer of 0 0.727 moles per kilogram. Moles of solute per kilogram of solvent or molal. So, there you have it. Ganun lang ang pag-solve ng molality. Madali lang. All you have to do, you, you should have your, your table of elements para makita mo agad kung ano yung mga atomic mass of each element. Or if not, kung pwede nyo i-memorize, mas maganda po kung memorize natin yung mga values. Especially yung mga elements na parating ginagamit sa mga, sa mga computation of frequently used mga substances or compounds gaya ng hydrochloric, sulfuric acid, sodium chloride. Okay, so yun, pwede nyo i-memorize yung mga atomic mass natin. But of course, kung hindi nyo ma-memorize, mayroon naman, you can refer to your table of elements. Okay? So, yan pong ang uh, ways to compute formulality. I hope may natututo po kayo sa video na ito. And we will be continuing in doing more videos in uh, civil service exam review at saka sa chemistry po and mathematics. Okay? So, feel free po to comment below kung may mga comment kayo, may suggestions kayo, or may mga katanungan kayo. Okay, so welcome po lahat ng mga comments po. And please like our video and don't forget to subscribe our channel para pag meron po kami mga bagong uh, videos na nagawa, you will be informed immediately. And hit the bell button po para ma-inform kayo or ma-notify kayo kung may bago nga kami mga videos. Thank you so much!